Hey everybody, Joe He Good here, AKMC Lazy J. We're back. Ooh, as I throw my food around, uh, I need to figure out why I am not getting a picture here. I think it just has to do with something as simple as doing this, then doing this. See, I'm hoping this is correct. I'm just waiting for, yep, at least I know that'll work. So how's everybody doing today? Hopefully well. I'm Joe Haygood, aka MC Lisa J. I was, I didn't even send out Twitter notices today. Nothing. This is just sort of, this was sort of happening, so. Maybe the game's going to load. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Hopefully you don't hear me or the fan that I have in my office right now. Here we go. So we were playing, we're going to have to replay a little bit of yesterday. And I apologize if you hear that kind of fan bearing that seems to be off in my computer. And... It's rattling up a storm. I have tried to put the filter on, but you probably will hear it when I'm talking. So I apologize ahead of schedule. So what is it that you do for a job anyway? Are you a taxidermist? A taxidermist? Sorry, I just no, unplugged I'm, my I'm, I'm a creative. I, portable I work hard design. drive. I'm an artist. Taxidermists are people who take animals and pull out their insides and make them stand up and things. It's awesome. Hmm. Well, you don't look like an artist. Yeah, well, not anymore I don't, do I? But that's my job. I'm a video game developer. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Yeah, not not traditional games like shooters or RPGs or free to play stuff. My team makes empathy games. Empathy games. It's art, really. You know, games which say something about the human condition. Cutting edge stuff. Uh huh. <laughs> I played this game. We had to run really fast over a road. Only I didn't, and I got hit by a train. I died. I remember playing this one back in the day that was set on this weird island. It had puzzles and stuff. You do that one, Jack? <laughs> uh, no. Sounds like when somebody asked me about a video game. Did you make that one with the train? No. No, I didn't. Sorry. You should have been a taxidermist. Damn. Where do you work? Super fan. It's not far from your office, actually. So what does a computer game person do? Play games all day? <laughs> Don't you just play games all day? There's a little bit more to it than that. Dad, can you put me in one of Jack's video games? Could I put Molly in your game, Jack? Is that even possible? Let's just try to get through the first day to begin with, yeah? <laughs> I'll walk you through it. Yeah, let's don't just try forget. to get through the day, shall we? We, need to we don't need to go out to some point. 
Yeah, yeah. Now, first you need to find my desk. You can't miss it. It's the one with the robot doing the sick dab. Sneak past Sonia, the receptionist. Avoid any awkward doing questions. Doing the sick dab. She's a bit dippy. She shouldn't have any problems there. All right. Well, no need to be horrible. She sounded nice enough on the phone. You're mean, Jack. How old are you, anyway? Eight and a half. <laughs> Good age. Eight and a half. Why? Dunno. Oh yeah, this one gets real fun. All this work. Hello, stranger. <laughs> you look well rested. Yeah, it's like the whole weekend. Anyway, I should probably just get going. Someone's in a hurry. Get in there, Jack, my son. Good morning! Derek's in a good mood. <laughs> Who the hell was that? <laughs> what? Jack, you sure you're not still feeling ill? He's my boss? Yeah. <laughs> He's my hey, boss. You never told me how your holiday was. Oh. Warm. Balmy. Great sunbathing weather. You should see my turn. In Iceland. Okay, well, I've got to run. Keep on keeping <laughs> on. Iceland. Uh, bye. So, what do I do when I get there? It's Monday. That means sprint planning. You're going to coordinate with your team on their tasks for the week. Yeah, see, we did this part yesterday. I know. I know. There wasn't really a way for me to play past it. Molly's right. I don't think anyone would follow me into battle. It's simple, trust me. Joan was working on modeling oh. the last of the cream cakes for Mrs. Clapton's tea Damn shop. Damn it. I know what I need Letitia's to do. Letitia's the finishing touches to the AI for the retirement home scene with the shell shock veteran. Please be here first. Tobias is writing up the design right. for the interactive funeral procession. No, and Maya is big way through implementing rubble support. Oh, man. Alright. Let's plug you in and do your thing. I don't understand. <clears throat> As you hear a bunch of window sounds. Okay, Oops. It's about embodying the experience of someone who's witnessed death and is coming to terms with their own mortality. Poetic. As all my phones make decide to make their noise. Jonah cakes, Letitia shell shock, Tobias funerals, Maya rumble. See, you're a natural. Uh, hello. Um, good weekends, everyone. Get up to anything interesting? No. Okay. Um, let's see. So I'm supposed to go around everyone and check what you're all working on. So, um, Jonah. Jonah's working on the cream cakes. You are modeling cream cakes, aren't you? I'll take the silence as an agreement. Okay, Letitia. You're doing something with AI. No, no, I A. For retirement homes. Yeah, that sounds right. Okay, Tobias. Funeral procession. I you're looking that's at guy's funeral rumble. Procession. Good luck with that. I'm going to assume that's correct. And finally, Maya. You're rumbling. Rumbling. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's right. Look. Even I can tell this meeting is a bit pointless. I mean, I remembered what you were all working on, but I'm sure you already knew that anyway. I guess what you're really looking that for Trello is a board. Talk, isn't it? Completed. In progress, in progress, in progress. Maya, you're behind. I'm sorry. I thought I could do this, but none of this comes naturally to me. You all look like nice, bright people. You don't need to listen to an old fart like me. 
Poor Maya. I'm sorry that I can't. She's the only one that has, has everything's in progress. She doesn't have any. Maybe completed. I'll just leave you with the advice that my dad gave to me on my 18th birthday. Also, somebody Keep click on the down. damn input button so the It'll HDMI input risks. will go away. Stay out of debt. <laughs> Cheers. Come on, baby. Tell me now. Give me that Derek Lovin. Yes, yes, yes! Hey, yo. All right. I'm sorry. I don't understand you. This is ridiculous. What the hell? What the hell? <clears throat> I got my dab robot. Headshot. Come on, Jack. Let's have our catch up. Let's see. All right, so we're going okay. to meet with Derek. Oh, why do I think that's going to be a problem? Jack, I'm loving that TV series you recommended. Did you catch the latest episode? What did you think of the chapel scene? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, I'm glad you're enjoying it. That the Lord forgives, I do not bit, and then he pulled out the machine gun and was all... <laughs> blew that bugger's chin clean off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was my favourite bit, too. Jack, I'll cut right to it. Your team is doing fantastic work. Really outstanding. But the publishers over the next month. Uh -oh. Surprise visit. You know how these things go. Sounds exciting. It'll be a shit show. I need you and your guys to crunch for the next few weeks. Obviously, we'll take care of pizzas, take away, whatever you guys need. You mean work overtime? It'll be good fun, won't it? The team hard at it, down in the trenches together. We'll keep any seven-day stints to a minimum, but if you could have your boys free up the next few weekends, that'd be great. Thanks, but no thanks. I've got plans. Sorry. Jack, the company expects it of you. And you don't want to let the others down. Damn. I, I, I mean, I, I'd love the overtime pay, don't get me wrong, but... I can't give up that time right now. Overtime pay? You're getting a little off message, Jack. As a line manager, I need you to set an example. You've lost the plot, mate. Why would I do all that extra work for free? Don't raise your voice to me. I expect the team to pull together. Uh-oh. To show some uh -oh. passion. Passion? I'll show you what you can do with your uh -oh. passion. Am I going to get him fired? Why do I think I'm going to get him fired? Hey, Dad! Oh. Hey, John. Jack's got something to tell you. Yeah, now, now before I go into details, it's important you know that a lot of your colleagues were really impressed with how I handled things today. Jack got fired. <laughs> what? No, 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 I didn't get fired. Uh, Molly, don't tell your dad that. Okay, well, well, maybe I did get a little bit fired. Told you. Between you and me, I think that Clive fellow overstepped his authority. I mean, I was just trying to give him some friendly advice. <laughs> This is a disaster. It's all good. 
We've still got my job, and no offence, but it plays better too. I saw you pay slip. Okay. I got fired too. Here's the thing. Uh, uh... Everything okay? Something go wrong? I've got something to tell you. Wait. What? <clears throat> you got fired as well? Eventful day, right? <laughs> oh, this is what a oh, but it was all gravy when you lost my job. Do you two need some privacy? Very cute. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna demolish a cheesecake. Who wants some? I want two slices. Hey, it's my figure you're ruining there. But yeah, and I'm quarter. <laughs> a quarter? You'll get what's left, mate. Hmm. <laughs> They both got fired. That's bad. Obviously. So all we're left with is Mina for chapter three. <laughs> Which I've kind of been dreading because, like I said, playing at work, Mina's chapter being a little the next sexual so in nature. They have me a little bit worried. But we'll see what happens. Your Wendy, right? I like your wedding ring. Did you tell your daughter I'm married? I don't keep secrets from her. He's a grown up guy. I don't keep secrets hey, from my daughter. What is this? Who sold these to you? Calls himself Spider. Very easy to find. We doing business or what? No more dealing. You're done. You've got bare bad things coming your way. Bare bad things coming your way. Not very bad things, bare bad things. We took his driver's license because he was selling dope to our father. Which she was not very happy about. Secrets and lies. <sighs> that was good. <laughs> We really should do this more often. I can't do this again. I mean, give me a moment. I didn't mean right this second. Oops. Mm -hmm. I mean this. Us. What do you mean? I don't think there's anything to explain. This was just a bit of fun. So is that it? Yep. I've got to get going. I'm late for an appointment. Okay, well, can I meet you for a coffee sometime? I don't know, this all seems a bit rushed. I need to get dressed. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Over quickly. I know my fan is getting loud. Damn! Shut him down. Straight put the block down. Uh oh. This can't be good. So yes, yeah, she's been cheating on her husband. Okay, how are we doing? Am I late? Yeah, by like 20 minutes. An apology would be nice. Sorry, work. Come on, let's go in. Uh, I don't think he's buying any of this bullshit. Hello, Dan. Mrs. Hughes. It's lovely to have a chance to talk to you both at last. It was getting late. I'd assumed you weren't coming. I'm so sorry. We were held up. How's Dylan doing, Mrs. Adeleke, is it? Tamara, please. Sorry. I think this is the first time we've met. This is my wife, Mina. Pleased to meet you, Mina. Dylan's progress this term has been good. 
He's, He's becoming quite the artist. I can't believe some of the stuff he brings back from school. Uh, sorry, I've got to take this. Jesus. Mina, yeah, I gotta to replace this fan bearing at some point. I'm really sorry about this. It's quite all right. I apologize about the, uh... Okay, what were we talking about? Huh. Uh, well, as I was saying, Dylan has a, a keen interest in drawing. Sorry, that's me again. Mina. I'm really sorry about this. It's fine. You two continue. Damn. Well, I've never been so embarrassed. You're overreacting. Dylan's doing fine. You did a good job at making me look like a crap parent in there, though. Thanks for that. No, you're not a bad parent, Mina. You're just... You're never here to do any of it. When you are, I feel like you'd rather be somewhere else. For Christ's sake, Dan, it's my job. What do you want me to do? Quit and become what? A teacher? You think we can afford to live in that house on two teacher's salaries? Get real, Dan. I'm providing for Damn. Don't throw that at me. Holy shit. She just basically dropped a fucking bomb on his you ass. You can this on the way home if you want. She just fucking went and plowed into his ass. That's not right. I tried calling the office earlier. They said you'd left for the day. Well, I don't know why they'd say that. The receptionist doesn't have clearance to know my whereabouts. Brilliant. I feel like you want to ask something. What's the point? You've always got an excuse. Hmm. That is not a happy relationship. Come not a happy out. relationship at Eat all. And then can we go out? No promises, not till that bowl is empty. Even the gray bits. Especially the gray bits. Well, I apologize if it's you're like hearing a vibration bit. there. I don't, I, I don't know where I, what else I can do don't to get rid that. of it. I am trying to see if I've got another option to where okay, I can put my I'm microphone. Mmm, lovely rabbit food. Um, there is a possibility I will have room in the future for something, but you know, I'm at work. Park, I work with work conditions. Or maybe Mum would like to take you. Hmm? Come on, Mum. You never go to the park. Yeah, come on, Mum. Perhaps I can go in later or something. Yeah. Get dressed, troublemaker. Thanks, Mina. I'm going to try to make some time at the park. Can I go on the swings? Then. Knock yourself out. Mina Hughes, this is Harlequin. Please authenticate. Hughes 47 Alpha Tango. What's up? Amrit has left a memo here asking for your authorization on the Munich document. He's saying you must have forgotten. Can I have some I money? I can't send it off without screen. someone's signature. Tell Amrit he can authorize this himself. He should know. I explained this to him on Wednesday. Mom, I tried reaching are you him listening? with a wet voicemail. We need this out today. Mom! Just a moment, Dylan. Look, forget it. I'll come by the office and sort this out myself. How about we get you home so you can watch some TV? But we only just got here. I'm sorry. I can't stay. I've got to head into work. Oh, uh, you always say that. Fine, let's go then. I'm sorry, Dylan. Are you mad with me? 
even is well, your job. Well, I, I get his, you know. <clears throat> what do you think I do? I don't know. Something to do with lying to people? Damn. That's not entirely incorrect. So, what is it? I could get in a lot of trouble. Why can't you just tell me? Fine. I work for a British private military security and intelligence company. My job is to monitor, support and execute orders for our investigators out in the field. The data is brought home to be analysed, packaged up and returned to the client, usually a government or private interest. How so we're, we work for a PMC? Sometimes it's not. <sighs> Any ideas what That's you no want to do when you grow up? I want to be a teacher, like Dad, and help people. <laughs> you can do better than that. What? Like you. What did you just Oops. say? Nothing. I just want to go home. Look, you've got your whole life ahead of you to figure out what you want to do when you grow up. I'm just trying to help you. Fine! I don't want to talk about it anymore. I want to go home. He's a little shit. And I think he needs to get a little... So, actually, I, you know what's funny? I've never... I've never spanked my child in my life. Oh, damn. Somebody just called us out. Well, I do know that the daughter... I do know that the daughter of the guy that we were seeing on the side... The next station is Cobbett Square. His daughter is Donna. And saw her... Her Previously. come over, oh, no. saw Mina come Mom's to the house. Well. She's been having and some tests and they've not come back great. The guy to basically out told Donna long everything. Yep, yeah, yeah, she's married. We're doing right it. Right now, I'm happy where I am. Why do you care about Becky asking me out? Is that why you're upset? So Vivek and her made out. Me tonight? And he seems jealous. And I'm thinking he may make somebody disappear. It will not be pleasant. I'm going to eat some of my peanut butter cups here. So, sorry if you hear the news. So, I was on early today because I have to set up conference calls for some people. Yes, I know. Sounds exciting, doesn't it? I also have to go over data usage on our cell phone plan. Neither one is exciting. Oh, damn. There's Becky. Can't get a hold of Viv. Now the question is, what do I want to wear today? I'm going to go light and breezy. like joining me on my shift did you no i just wanted to talk to you and viv while we we're all together about what let's just wait till we get there uh-oh oh yeah how was moise's party it was okay got a bit druggy in the end 
Oh, right. Oh, yeah, did you end up asking Viv out? You hear about Moyes and Tina going at it on his dad's car? Mental. <laughs> Everyone's getting some action at the moment. What's that mean? <laughs> Why don't you ask Viv? You're joking. You and Viv? Whatever. That's bullshit. Hey, don't hate the player. Don't hate the player. Ah, oh, look at you two. Bunking again. What, have you dropped out or something? Yeah, what are you both doing? Bet you think you're both so cool. <laughs> Cooler than you. Shut up, Donna. It's complicated. Yeah, looks it. Come on, Mary. Let's leave these wasters to it. Can you believe those two? Leave it. I just Damn. about enough of all of this. Uh, we all have, not just you. Oh, shut up. Let's just get some food and go. The card father. Oh, he's... Uh-oh. <clears throat> Let's see if they remember him or not. You, you saw that, right? Are you all right? I can't think. Right. Well, if you want to stay and bang on this door... Are you sure you didn't... We're going, or what? <sighs> yeah. Why do I think it doesn't say Codfather and Son anymore? Any other doors you want to knock on on the way? You really didn't see the stranger go into his house. You're actually weirder than I thought. Weren't you going to get some chips or something? Maybe stick your head in the deep fat fryer while you're at it. Funny. It was closed anyway. <laughs> you know what I think? I think you've got a thing for that stranger. What? Oh, shut up. I think I the stranger has a thing you for get him. In your eye when you look at him. I bet you wanted to get into his house, look through his dirty laundry, sniff his pan. Oh, you're sick, you know that. This coming from you, the weirdest girl in school. Don't be an asshole your entire life. Ooh, you're hard. You know, for someone who's got a potential assault charge hanging over their head, you're awfully irritating. I'm irritating. You should listen to some of the shit that comes out of your mouth. Literally Damn, don't know why they are literally. You. You're just upset because you weren't invited to Moise's house party. Does it look like I care? None of them remember Vivek. Oh, damn. <clears throat> So those people oh, are just wiped out of I existence. He's right where we left him. I don't get it. Who was meant to be guarding him? You were. Wait, that doesn't make sense. You are truly losing it. Let's just think about this for a Yeah, it's not making this is sense stupid to stupid and a complete waste of time. We're guarding a moron who can't even speak, and we're worried that he can dob us into the police. I'm out of here. Wait! He can speak! Go on! Say something! Huh. <laughs> this is embarrassing. You can look after your imaginary friend on your own from now on. You're leaving? I'm bored. And I'm done. Later. 
Great. Well, piss off then. Well, I don't think she's coming back. Oh, so you're not talking to me anymore either? Would you mind doing me a favor? There's something down in the basement of this building that I'd like you to take a look at. The basement? The door of yep. there is open. If you wouldn't mind. Okay, through this door. Let's go into the dark basement. Jesus, it's pitch black in here. You're lucky I've got a torch on my phone. I'm just wondering if I should be worried what's down here. Uh oh. Interesting. What's the deal? Nothing down there but some rats. My mistake. Donna, let me ask you a question. Do you still have that photograph you took of me? What? Uh, yeah, it's on my phone. Look, I haven't got time for this. Why? You know why. Mum's ill. I need to be spending time with her and helping Emma out around the house more. You need to be here. And what if I refuse? You're gonna call the police? We both know you're not gonna do that. Come on, I'll untie you. I wouldn't do that if I was you. Why? You gonna bash my head in? <laughs> Whatever. Stay here if you want. Donna, don't pretend you don't want to be here. I know you. I've got to go. Huh. Hello? Mum? Anyone about? Oh no. Why do I think this guy like made our entire family disappear? That would suck. Don Adelaide here. Yeah? Miss Adelaide here, it's Longmead Hospital. We need you to come in. What's wrong? It's your mum. I'm afraid it's serious. How soon can you get here? Mom. Mom. Huh. That was a little unexpected. Actually, the more I think about it, I probably don't have to get into this stop. too far. The only way this is going to work is if we imitate each other exactly. How come you're hanging out with fat middle aged blokes? Sounds like you both need to get your stories straight. I expect the team to pull together to show some passion. I'll show you what you can do with your passion. Jack got fired. So we both what got fired. What are we going to do now? Everything okay? We're Here's both crack on You got people. fired as well? The eventful day, right? All right. Well, what I'm going to do is uh, I want to thank anybody that came by and watched and hung out, did some things. I know I still got like, hmm, 
problem is, is I know I only got about ten minutes of actual gameplay time. Well, well, you know what? We'll give it a we'll give it a whirl and see where we show up. How about that? Sounds fair enough. Give it a whirl and a twirl, and we'll see where we're at and where it stops. Nobody knows. What I need to use is one of my extra portable cameras that are in my office so I can just, just use it on my TV doctor? here. Well, Molly's got a point, John. I mean, we can't be the first case of something like this. Well, I'm not sure the National Health Service stretches to body swapping. Yeah, they You're probably don't. You're busted on that, are you? You've got Jack's allergies now, Dad. Sorry, I keep forgetting. <laughs> I'm gonna end up killing myself one of these days. Sorry, mate. Which one comes after Amberlyn? Amberlyn. Um, Catherine Howard. Catherine Hepburn. It can't hurt to go to the GP about this. You're both wrong. Maybe there's other people we could see as well. You know, people who specialise in the mind. Like a brain surgeon? Yeah, or a psychologist or something. Like that shop near the tube station? No, I'm talking about professional, professional. therapists. professional. Not some loony who's going to tell me my future by counting me nostril hairs. Hang on, though. Molly might be onto something there. Yeah. I might be onto something. Desperate times demand desperate measures. We shouldn't be closed off to any potential situation. Fine. Add it to the list. It says Abilene was beheaded f for fornication. What's fornication? You know how we talked about sex? Don't you, Molly? No. <laughs> well, I, I need to see a man about a dog, I think. <laughs> Remember when we talked about sex? See you tonight, yeah, Molly. With any luck, we'll be back in our own bodies by dinner time. Bye, Dad. See you later, Jack. So, I've got a list. Uh, we've got an appointment with your GP, Dr. Ajibola, and then we're seeing that therapist I found online. Aren't you forgetting something? Yeah. Yeah, we are going to have our auras ring too. I haven't forgotten. <laughs> the auras are going to be... You know, there is one good thing that you got going for you. Go on. I love the way you say bastard. It's got a nice top run. Bastard. <laughs> Great. Go on, let, let's see you say it for comparison. Are we really doing this? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit. Sorry. Huh. So far I haven't seen too much crossover beyond like those those two oh, or three moments. Oh fuck. Oh hello doctor. This is my cousin Jack. Please meet Okay, you. so our doctor so, how can I help is you the both? one that Mina has How's been heart, sleeping John? with and is the wow. father to Donna. There's nothing wrong with my heart, is there? No no no, it's it's not that. It's a bit of a delicate matter. Don't worry. There isn't much you could say which could shock me at this point. I wouldn't be too sure about that. Well, what do you know about living outside of your own body? <clears throat> you mean like a feeling of disassociation? Not being in control? Yes, exactly. There's more to it than that. You see, the two of us have, well... We've swapped bodies. Actually, I'm John. And I'm Jack. Fellas, you realise April Fool's Day was months ago. Yes, we know. So nothing you can do for us? John, come back in two months as we agreed for your regular checkup. Jack, it was nice to meet you. Well, looks like I'm going to have to find a new GP. Okay, burnt that bridge. What's next on the list? Ah, a psychologist. Could be interesting. 
Yes, psychologist could be interesting. What did the doctor mean when he brought up that thing about your heart? Have you been ill? Well, I had a mild heart attack a few months back. I mean, it sounds worse than it is. Just spent a couple of days in hospital and now I just have to watch my cholesterol. Pretty normal, really. It's nothing that serious. Jesus, John, that's about as serious as it gets. Maybe. Anyway, it's not an issue anymore. Right, well, look, no more junk food from now on. I'll cook tonight. Now, you haven't seen me in the kitchen, have you? I mean, you know, I don't want to brag, but I'm like a culinary wizard. I can't take all the credit. It's the French jeans. Right. That would actually be pretty nice. C'est la vie, Jean. Right, where are we going? We're going to the underground. C'est la vie. Going down to the tube. Hello. You're both related, is that right? Yeah, we're cousins. Yeah. Okay. Well, nice to meet you both. Before we get started, I'd like to go through the different options we have available today. Okay? Hey. Sure. So my family therapy package starts at £250 per hour. Oh. We're out. Bloody daylight robbery! Well, on the bright side, you know where we're going next, don't you? Cooked on a healing. Oh my goodness. What a name. Alright. I am going to end it there, though, I think. So I want to thank anybody that came by that's hanging out. I appreciate it. Archives will be on YouTube. Uh, so you can uh, head over there and watch those. Um, yeah, we'll be on tonight playing The Ascent, I believe. That could change. We might do Grand Theft Auto. I got to see if our third is going to be available. So 